They have something in Kansas City, too. How about that? Joel Nichols joins us now from the Kansas City Zoo to find out if we're going to ever have winter here. <laughs> Will we have winter this year? Well, we're going to speak to an expert here in just a little bit, but you know, we do have groundhogs in the Kansas City area, and they have groundhogs here at the zoo, but they're not part of the exhibit. They're just hanging out at the zoo, like a lot of uh, fine creatures like to do. Sean Putney is here with a little friend. This is actually a what? This is a hedgehog, Joel, so a little bit different than a groundhog. Right. Uh, and she has had her morning cup of mealworms, so she's with us. They're, they're nocturnal <laughs> usually, so you'd think they'd be up around now, but she was. She was a little, uh, a little grumpy this morning. Well, she's got an adorable little face, and her name is Amy Rose. Amy Rose, isn't that sweet? So it's perfect for the Valentine's time. It's very nice. It's very sweet. Although she's very prickly, so her, when you, her boyfriend well, has to be a little got, careful. This is so, you would think this would be a cuddly little creature, but yeah. not at all. Yeah, they are actually very cute to look at. But uh, when you're small, Joel, you have to have some defensive mechanisms. <laughs> Otherwise, you won't stick around very long. Right. In the wild, they only live to be a couple years old. Uh, in captivity, they might be 10 years old. But uh, uh, you have to have that defense. Otherwise, you're going to be somebody's meal. So uh, they can actually curl into a little ball and all you see are those very prickly uh, spines on their back and it's very hard to get at them so it's a great defensive mechanism. Your breakfast is getting away there Amy Rose, see right there? <laughs> Breakfast is making a run for it. Now, when we come back, we're, you're from Pennsylvania. I am originally, yes. You know the history of this day. Uh, I know Punxsutawney Phil, that's right. Knows Punxsutawney <laughs> Phil personally. Uh, we're going to talk about the history of Groundhog's Day if the hedgehog is an appropriate uh, substitute for the groundhog. We're going to cover all of that when we come back because we're all going to have a little breakfast and mealworms and be prickly all together. So back to you. You know, we're all a little Listen, prickly in the morning. It's another okay. day at the office. <laughs> Thank you, Joel.